Hi everybody, I'm Coach Joe and I'm the CEO and founder of Leela Movement Technology and I'm here today to talk to you about a principle that I've developed and it was a way for us to look at a snapshot of what programs are improving, which ones weren't and why. First thing I want to talk about is improvement. I'm going to show you a graph with two athletes on it. Athlete one shows a very common level of improvement. So again, you can see athlete A, you see this nice improvement happening at the start of their training. Let's say they're getting into Ironman or a certain sport. And over time, then you start to see that line starts to curve off. And although you get these little troughs and, and waves, peaks, that makes you think things are happening because you tried something new, oh, it got better. But actually, if we look at time over, performance improvement over time, it stays pretty consistent. So let's look at athlete two or program two. Now you can see something remarkably different because they're focusing on the right things. But you notice improvement over time. If we look at that slope, they still get the troughs and the peaks, but the continual slope of that line over time is positive, which means they're improving. And take a look at this red arrow. That's the point. Let's say these were two athletes. You and your best friend started out in Ironman training at the same time. At some point, you might have started out better than them. You were focusing on certain things at the start. They were building a consistent base. But at that arrow, you start to notice they beat you every time. The CIA principle was specifically designed by me to help you analyze where your best improvements are gonna come. Okay, so what does CIA stand for? Three simple things, consistency, intensity, and attention to detail. So let's talk about consistency first because this is a chronological order. They're not just there as a one, two, three. Consistency is your most important factor to focus on. And what does that mean? How often do you train and how consistent are you in that training? Basically, it means showing up. Consistency will always be about 60 to 90% of, of your performance equation. It's not a small or kind of big part. It's the most important part. What you need to understand is one session a week for any type of sport or activity, that is a maintenance program. You are not going to improve over time in anything with one session a week. Now, if we wanna get serious about improving, you need to be thinking about doing some level of three sessions or more a week. Volume matters. The next thing you look at is consistency in training time. How long are you training? 10 to 30 minutes is a good block time for skill work. Anything longer, you get fatigued, mental focus starts to change, it's enough. Power sport, you need a little longer time, 30 to 40 minutes. And of course, if you're in an endurance activity, session time should be approximately about 45 to 60 minutes. Don't focus on technology and equipment. That's not gonna improve you if you don't have enough consistency. You don't need a high level coach when you're in this phase. You just need general monthly guidelines. You know, find something on YouTube, talk to your friends. It's enough. Here's this critical. This number is very important. 80% attendance. If you're less than 80% attendance over time, your improvements are gonna be very limited, no matter what else you're doing. Keep those in mind, take a look at your program and ask yourself, can I add a little more? Let's talk about intensity. Intensity simply refers to this question. How hard do you train and how long can you sustain that? About 10 to 30% of your improvement gain out of the 100% that can come is gonna come from improvements in intensity. But again, if you're training once a week and you think, oh, this weekend I'm gonna do a hard ride. Hey, that's great, enjoy that. But don't expect now that you've done a hard ride for that little bump in intensity to have made a big difference. Volume still isn't enough. Once you start getting more intense in training, if you haven't built that volume base, you're gonna have a lot of issues because you start intensity pushing too early in a new program, burnout, injury, and the worst part, bad habits and poor technique. Because when you do things intensely, you don't have time to really start thinking about, oh, I'm doing it properly because you're worried about pushing. How do you increase intensity? What exactly do I mean? Increasing your effort, really simple, one to 10, how hard did I work? The next area is gonna be to increase your time because adding volume to the training session, going from a 20 minute session to a 30 minute session actually is harder work. That's an increase in intensity. And the last part, increasing complexity. That means making the session itself harder by adding components. Well, you should finish this session feeling like, wow, that was hard. The other two sessions should still be light. One heavy session a week, even for some of the most elite athletes is pretty common. How, do I, how much time do I increase? marginal increase. Once you've established three to six months, 80% attendance, three times a week, those short sessions, add an extra 10 minutes to each of those skill sessions. Remember those curves. This is what that athlete that had continual improvement was focusing on. Not trying to improve too quick, 
and then just getting stuck in a plateau. All right, so last A, attention to detail. That basically means what do I need to be ready to compete? I built a solid base. Uh, I've now got great intensity in my program. I've been doing this for the last year. Now I'm looking to compete to actually go against people at my level and try and be a little better. These areas are only gonna give you a very small improvement percentage, one to 10%. So if you're a starting athlete, don't get lost in this. This is not where you need to improve. All good coaches know that even at the high performance level. New starting competitive recreational age grouper, weekend warrior athletes, all right? Leave the high tech stuff aside unless the other things are in place. Training technology, we often look to see what pros are doing. First, don't get stuck in that, okay? What the pros are doing doesn't matter. The second one is metrics, performance analysis. Using wearable devices, whether it's GPS, whether it's a smartwatch, whether it's an app or a program. Again, that data is good, but don't get lost on it. If you're an endurance athlete, you're going to a race where it matters, it probably needs a bit of nutrition advice so you don't bonk. Recovery, you don't need to buy a recovery gun. You don't need to do all that as well if you just don't have enough training volume or intensity. Training equipment is the bonus. Once you've got a base, once you're training level, then you go out and invest in some good equipment because now it's sensitive. So to wrap this all up, consistency, intensity, attention to detail, that equals improvement in that order. Biggest improvements are always in consistency and the best programs in the world are trying to get more there before they're wasting time and money on attention to detail. For your people starting out, look to try and increase that training time and a little bit of effort before you start investing in more technology because that technology is gonna feel a whole lot better when it's meaningful to your body. And as always, like and subscribe. If you find some value here, please comment. This is, these are principles that I've developed in the 35 years that I've been doing this to try and put a bit of insight into what you're doing. And we look forward to hearing from you and let's keep moving forward.